What up, Claude Mitchell here, back again with another video. Today we're talking about the key of ownership. Now on the surface level, this can seem like a really simple key, but once you start to reflect upon it and think about it a little bit more, it can take on a deeper meaning. Now the key of ownership can be a hard pill to swallow, especially when you're not ready to deal with the product of your own choices. I know for me, when I sat down to apply this key, I had a really, really tough time in the beginning. One thing I really wanted to take ownership of in my life was my health. You know, I was going to the gym, I was doing the things that I needed, but I wasn't getting the results that I desired. And so I started to make excuses for myself and I started to say, you know what, maybe it's the gym. So I said, you know what, if I switch gyms, maybe I'll get that product. I switched gyms, guess what? Still the same results. Then I started to make more excuses. And I was like, you know what, maybe it's my routine. The routine is probably not working. So I switched my routine, and guess what? I was still getting the same results. And it wasn't until I sat down and I was honest with myself, and I was like, you know what? What are the choices that I'm making outside of the gym that are holding me back from getting the products or the results that I wanted? And I really got down to the fact that it was my eating habits. And when I started to take control over that and I started to make better choices, and I was owning up to the fact that when I was putting those intense hours in at the gym, but I was going home and I was eating a dozen donuts, or when I was doing really, really good workouts, and I was going home and I was eating cake and pizza and I wasn't eating things that were really conducive to the work that I was putting in, I started to see better results. And I started to feel a little bit more free. And I started to have a better time when I was going and leaving from the gym. But it wasn't until I sat down and I had to really think about the choices that I was making outside of that place. This week, I want you to think about one area in your life where you need to start taking more ownership of so that you can have more power and freedom. When you have that one thing, comment below in the comment section. Let's start a dialogue and let's talk about how we can start to hold each other accountable to putting more ownership in our life. Be sure to like this video. Be sure to comment. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Also, share with one person that you know that needs to start taking a little bit more ownership over their life as well. Be sure to follow us on social media. All of our handles can be found below. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining.